So you guys want to learn butterfly pull-ups? I'm going to teach you guys butterfly pull-ups. What's up, guys? Welcome to part one, part uno, of my five-part learn how to do butterfly pull-ups video series. So this is going to be awesome. Each episode of my five-part series of Get You Those Butterfly Pull-Ups is going to be released one week at a time for a couple of reasons. One, you got to be patient when you learn these skills. you got to give your body time to learn positions, to get strong in positions, and be able to repeat good movement over and over. And that's not just in regards to butterfly pull-ups. That's with everything you do. Here we go. I'm going to teach you how to get beautiful, smooth butterfly pull-ups that look like a big, beautiful butterfly and not like a caterpillar that has just been stepped on like this. You see what I did there? Around here, I usually give my athletes requirements that they need to hit before even progressing the butterfly pull -up. For me, it's 10 strong, connected, standard kipping pull-ups along with being able to do five consecutive strict pull-ups. Now the reason I put those requirements on learning butterfly pull-ups is because butterfly pull-ups put a lot of torque on your shoulders. If you don't have the basic understanding of the kipping swing and the shoulder strength to go along with it, it's, this skill could be dangerous or put your shoulders in vulnerable positions and that's the last thing we want. The last thing we want is to injure our shoulders when we're working on a new skill. So those requirements are very, very important. Episode one is all about learning the butterfly kipping swing. Now that is a trick statement right there because if you have your standard kipping pull-ups, you have what it takes to learn a butterfly kipping swing because it's the same swing. Now I'll ask you guys out there that maybe already have some butterfly pull-ups and have tried some. Were you guys ever taught this guy? I call it the backwards bicycle. So that's actually how I was taught. And good news is, is our sport and our understanding of body mechanics has progressed way farther than the backwards bicycle. And we now do not teach it like that. We are gonna teach you guys butterfly pull-ups from a standard kipping swing because those arch hollow positions that you do to master a standard kipping swing is what will take you to the butterfly pull-up. The only difference is, is that it's timed differently. The arches and the hollows are timed differently than in a standard kipping pull-up. I got two cues for you guys to hang on to and build up over this next week that'll get you guys off on a good foot to learning butterfly pull-ups. The standard kipping swing should look like this. Start from a dead hang. Initiate the swing from my shoulders like I'm pushing and pulling on the bar. It starts small. As I gain strength and control, I grow bigger and bigger. I see long arches, long hollows, and I can immediately stop my body because I have control over it. These two cues that I'm going to leave you guys with that are going to set you up for your butterfly pull-ups is one, I want to see your ears behind your arms in the hollow position. The other thing that I want you to focus on is seeing your toes also in that hollow position. Leaning back in my hollow position, I can see my ears behind my shoulders, behind those arms. You guys can see my ears every time I hit that hollow position. The other cue is seeing my toes in the front of that hollow position. That guarantees that my body is in a hollow position because if it's in a correct hollow position, I can see my toes in the front. If I'm not, in a, say I'm in the opposite, which is an arch, I won't be able to see my toes. So, ears behind your arms, See your toes in the front. Boom. As you're working on getting those reps in this week, think about why I'm asking you to do those two things. Where does all of the activity in all of your gymnastic skills, whether that be toes to bar, kipping pull-ups, butterfly pull-ups are a part of that, ring muscle-ups, bar muscle-ups, where does all of that activity or the actual skill happen? In the hollow or the arch? Think about it for a second. The answer is a hollow position. On my toes to bar, I'm sweeping up those toes in a hollow position. On a kipping pull-up, a standard kipping pull-up, I'm pulling my chin above the bar in a hollow position. Same thing applies when I go to butterfly pull-ups. All the action happens in the hollow position and that's where people get a little bit caught up 
Everybody looks at the butterfly pull-ups and sees this big fancy arch. That's a step ahead of where everything needs to be. All the action happens in the hollow position. In gymnastics, your body is lighter when it's tighter. That's our saying in here, tighter is lighter. So when I want to pull my body weight up on these pull-up bars or move my body through space and time on any of these gymnastic skills, that is where my body is lightest. That's where I'm gonna have the most control. Here's your homework assignment for this week. Step one to learning butterfly pull-ups. I would get five sets of five, kipping swings, where I'm spotting my toes in the front and seeing my ears in the back. Hollow, arch, hollow, arch, hollow. Hollow, 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 tighter is lighter. Let's get these butterfly pull-ups, do that homework. I'll see you guys next week for part two.